Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop and I have a really cute new whip project bag that can be whipped up in three hours. You're gonna love it. I'm not a bag person and if I can do this, you can do it too. I made all of this in three hours from start to finish, even designing it. So what you're gonna need is for your exterior fabric, which is the pink, a yard, and then the inside lining, which is the blue, a fat quarter. I used an accent thread for stitching the bag. I used a white thread for quilting the back. You will definitely need wonder clips, a rotary cutter, buy Annie vinyl, buy Annie soft and stable. I'm using the 18 by 58 inch size and a 24 inch by Annie zipper. I'm also using a long Creative Grids ruler and a 16 and a half inch Creative Grids square ruler. You will need a square ruler that is um, larger than 13 and a half inches to trim down your vinyl since vinyl is a little bit tricky to cut. Um, super easy and let's get started. So my bag measures 16 by 18 inches and on the inside, there is a lining that is quilted and I am using by Annie Soft and Stable because I want the bag to not be floppy. I want it to really hold and be sturdy just like this. So um, it's very easy to quilt through. From your lining fabric, you're gonna cut an 18 by 20 inch rectangle. You're gonna cut the same size of the Soft and Stable and your exterior fabric. You're gonna make a quilt sandwich just like this. Then what I did is I quilted this. You can quilt it any way you want. What I did, I found my 45 degree angle on my ruler, my Creative Grits ruler, and it's right here. And so I just start with the line. I'm using a friction pin because it disappears with heat later. And I just drew lines an inch apart. And so I drew the lines this direction and then I drew the lines back this direction and then I went to my sewing machine I just used an Aurifil color um, either 2000 or 2021 just a plain white and I quilted it and it's nice and not floppy so that's going to be your first step and then the only other thing that you need to cut for your bag out of your fabric are six two inch with the fabric strips from your exterior. So that's all you have to cut from your fabric and next we're gonna cut our vinyl. So now all we have to do is cut our vinyl. So I'm using by Annie Vinyl. The reason that I like this brand is if you put something plastic in your bag, it's not gonna rub up against it. It's a really nice quality vinyl. And I'm gonna be giving you lots of tricks, of tips and tricks of working with vinyl. And this is actually my first time working with vinyl and I um, came up with lots of tricks. And it's actually a lot easier than you would think. So you just open your package. And when you unroll it, you are going to have this tissue paper on top. It is very important to keep the tissue paper. Do not throw it away. And I'll show you what you're going to use it for next. So what I like to do is just unroll it. Put something on the side so that one side stays down and you need a 13 and a half inch square for the see-through portion of the front of your bag. I would like to use a square ruler just because it helps um, center it. So we're going to do 13 and a half, so I'm just going to line my 13 and a half inch up around here, and I'm just going to cut. And this stays nice because it'll just roll right back up. The tissue paper will stay in. You can just put a little washi tape here to keep it in place so you can use it on your next project. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You've got to turn it around and cut it. Now I'm going to move the paper off because it's hard to cut with the paper on it. But I'm going to save it and we're going to cut something with it in a second. And then I'm going to just put this ruler back on and this is hard to see. This is probably the only thing from the whole bag that I thought was hard, was cutting this. So you just line your ruler up, 13 and a half and 13 and a half, and cut. 
So now you have your vinyl for the front. So super easy cutting, not very much cutting for this bag, super easy. So I'm going to set this aside and from here I'm going to cut this into some strips because it's helpful to use in like strips. It can be anything you want. I'm going to do like one and a half and I'm just going to cut a lot of strips. It doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't even have to be even. You're just going to need some strips and so um, I just do it now to save time. And we'll just put these strips right by our sewing machine. And using this paper is going to help you use the, the sewing machine feet that you already have so that you don't have to go buy a Teflon foot or anything fancy. It makes this bag very um, achievable for anyone. What we're going to sew first is our zipper section. So it's just this top section. And I'm just using the two inch by width of fabric strips. I'm not trimming it down. I'll trim it down later. That's just an extra step that I took out. And I am using a 24 inch white zipper by Annie. By Annie is my zipper of choice always. The reason I like it is because it's got a little, it's got a really wide area right here and you can cut the zipper. They're amazing. So you're gonna put one of the fabrics right sides down on the zipper and here you're going to want to use wonder clips and not pins and you're just going to wonder clip this down so we're just going to put these little wonder clips all the way and then we're going to go to our sewing machine and I'm going to give you tips on stitching first we're going to stitch this down and then move to the next step so I'm going to use pink thread throughout since I'm going to be doing top stitching and I don't want to have to switch between my threads. So I've just got a matching pink and I'm going to pull the zipper pull down to start. And I'm just using an open toe foot and what I'm going to do is press, put that toe right where the zipper is. So you can see the zipper, the center, and you're just going to stitch. And you're just going to keep that right on the edge. And I'm using a little bit bigger than a 2.0 stitch. Okay, so now I'm getting to the zipper pull section. I'm going to zip that back up. And by doing that, you won't have you won't have a little crooked stitch. looking and we're going to go um, back to our sewing table. Another thing for me to mention is when you're using a buy any zipper you do not need a zipper foot. So I'm making this project as simple as I can for beginners so that anybody at home can do it and you don't have to run to the store and get a zipper foot or a teflon foot or any of that stuff. So you saw that I just used regular open toe foot. So from here I want to press. So I'm going to press right on this seam I do use steam and I'm pressing this down to get it nice and flat. And you can just trim off this edge if, if you want. We're going to trim all this down later. But since we're going to trim it down later, I'm, we're just using width the fabric so that you don't have to trim twice. So now what we're going to do is go to the sewing machine and we're going to do a top stitch in two spots so that it keeps the zipper down really nice and flat. So let's go to the sewing machine. So when I made my bag, I did two top stitches, one right next to the zipper and one a little bit away. And the reason why is it keeps the zipper down and flat in the back. Just put your foot right on the edge. And you're just going to stitch all the way down. I'm going to go nice and slow. By keeping my little edge right on the edge, it keeps it straight. And this is just going to give it a really classy, nice look. And your bag will last longer.
so it looks really nice and straight and I'm gonna do one more stitch now you can see from the back from the front where that zipper ends you want to make sure that you're stitching on top of the zipper not over here because the point of it is to keep this zipper down so I'm just gonna go a little bit further and I'm gonna I think I'll use the edge as a guide and you're going to see this on the front of your bag, so you want it to be nice and pretty. So you can see that I have secured this zipper all the way down, and it's not going to flop around. Now what you will do is you're going to do this, this side the exact same way. So we've made the very top, which is your zipper, and that is this portion of the bag. Now we're going to work on this portion, the bottom portion of the top. So we have vinyl, and we're going to add a two inch strip to the left and the right first. So to work with vinyl, you need a couple things to just keep it flat on your table. So I've got the two inch strips, some of those two inch strips that we cut, you're just going to cut it in half. And we're going to add it to this side. It's square so it doesn't really matter what side. So what you're going to want to do is first I'm gonna add the tissue paper in a second, but just to get going, I'm gonna just, you cannot use pens with vinyl, so use Wonder Clips. And I'm just gonna clip this down, kind of getting the fabric lined up with the edge of the vinyl first. So you've got a starting place. I'm gonna trim the bottom and you just don't need this piece. So you don't want to put pins in vinyl or you're going to poke a hole and then that hole will not go away. And then you're going to take some of these strips that we cut off of the tissue paper and add them to the top. And when we're sewing at the sewing machine, we're going to stitch on top of the tissue paper, not on the fabric. So we've got this side done. I'm going to add a couple more pin, I mean, Wonder Clips, no pins, no pins, guys. Then we're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Now, if you didn't use the, the paper, you would need a Teflon foot, which is super expensive, or on the bottom of your foot, you could put scotch tape, but I haven't found that that works very good, so this is the easiest solution, and since the vinyl that you get from By Annie already has the tissue paper, it's great. And now we're going to go to our sewing machine and we're just going to stitch on each side and you can do a quarter, a quarter inch, um, doesn't have to be exact. So I'm just going to use the line on my machine for the quarter inch seam. You can do quarter inch or three eighths or whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to use about a 2.0 stitch length. And you'll see that you're going to go right through this paper. Super easy. And then we'll just go to the other side. Do the same thing. the bottom is looking you're going to go to the side with the tissue paper and just pull it off to pull the paper off you can kind of put your thumb right here and just pull right on that seam 
and it'll come off a little bit easier. And then the other side will just come right off. Now what we need to do is I'm gonna press to one side. You're not supposed to press on the vinyl, so I've got my iron on low, and I'm gonna get mostly on the fabric. I'm just gonna iron right on the fabric edge. Try not to touch the vinyl. And then you can see it's sitting down. And now we're gonna go to the sewing machine and top stitch this down. So now what we're gonna do is top stitch the vinyl down and this time we're just gonna do a one stitch instead of two. And you're gonna use your tissue paper again and you will just put your foot right up on the edge of your fabric and go back to a 2.5 stitch length. So it's okay that the tissue paper kind of went catty corner. The only purpose of the tissue paper is so that your, your foot doesn't stick to your vinyl. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So now you'll just remove your tissue paper and then that's going to hold the vinyl down so that it stays flat. If you didn't do that top stitch, it might, it might waver a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is just trim the sides and we're gonna just do one more on the bottom. So you've got another 20 inch strip. We're gonna do the same exact thing. So you're gonna do this and we're gonna do the same exact step we did last time. And you're gonna stitch this down, press, and then once you press, you will do a top stitch. And that will be the bottom of your bag. And you can see that this tissue paper doesn't go all the way to the end. Just add another piece and keep going. So I'm using a 2.0 stitch length and I am just going with a quarter inch seam and I'm just using the guide on my machine. Okay, so we've added the bottom strip and I'm just gonna trim the little edges off. And that's what's great about this bag is we're just using strips and then cutting off later, lots of less work. So we've got the bottom and now we want to add the top. So you can see the top is bigger. We're going to trim it down, totally fine. So I like to just put it in the center and just pull this down. And we're not going to trim anything off yet. And then here, we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch with a quarter inch seam across. Okay, now we're gonna remove our tissue paper one last time. I'm gonna press this toward the top. Again, not touching the vinyl with my iron and I'm just using a low heat. And I'm gonna to go to my sewing machine and we're gonna to top stitch this down. Now you're gonna move your zipper pull to the center. This is very important. If you don't do this, you're gonna have a zipper with no zipper pull. And I'm gonna leave this just as flat as I can with my hand and I'm gonna trim the edge. Okay. 
that I'm going to use Wonder Clip to hold that in place. We're going to turn and we're going to cut the other edge also. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go to the sewing machine and just stitch this side down so that this doesn't flop around when we go to our next step. And I'm just going to go over this a couple times. So now you have the top of your bag done and we've got the back that we did at the beginning. We're just going to lay those together and then we're going to trim the backing to be the same size as the top. So we made our backing bigger than the front so that when you trim it down, you're not gonna see any funny edges from your quilting where you start and stop. So now I'm gonna use Wonder Clips and I'm gonna clip all the way around to keep it in place we're gonna to go to our sewing machine and we are gonna baste this down about an eighth of an inch away before we put our binding on. So here you can make your stitch length super long so that you're just basting this down so that when you add your binding, it stays in place. So all that's left on your whip project bag is using your remaining two inch strips to put binding. You can click the description box or watch Lisa Bonjean's video here and you can put binding on your whip project bag. It is super cute. Um, I can't wait to see the bags that you guys make and I would love it if you subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.